What's going on guys? This is Mike Williams from Cartoon Universe. Yes, we have another miraculous video. This one's gonna be a pretty quick theory based off of the last episode that just aired. Carrie Face. Well, I guess it wasn't called Carrie Face. It was called a Nazi, but and it featured Carrie Face, which is pretty dope. We finally got another hero. But I want to talk about specifically what happened at the end of the episode. Because this episode was pretty tame for the most part. We got to see a new villain, which is pretty cool. We got to see Alia's sister, which is pretty cool. And we finally got to see Carrie Face. But there was something at the end of this episode that was stated that I really caught my attention that I feel like a lot of people aren't really bringing too much attention to. And that's the fact that Hogmoth mentioned that Carapace, you know, showed up and that Ladybug and Cat Noir are getting a lot more allies, obviously referring to Alia and using the Fox Kwame. So they're, they're building up some heroes. They're, they're stacking their heroes. But what he says after that, he says that soon enough, they're going to be outnumbered, which is... I'm sorry, what? So, so far, we've basically theorized that there's going to be miraculous holders and maybe some other heroes thrown in. We do know there's a greater universe of heroes and whatnot, but mo for the most part, we're probably going to be starting with the Miraculouses. And it's safe to say that for the most part, they're going to team up at some point for some bigger, greater threat. We know that Mar Mar Marinette is going to be traveling other places in the world, such as New York and China and stuff like that. So this would not be surprising if they ended up having some sort of league of Miraculous holders for some bigger threat. Obviously, most of us are assuming it's going to be the holder of the Peacock Miraculous, whoever that may be. We have a lot of theories on that. You can go check that out right now if you want to. have the card on the, on the screen or you can do it at the end of the video. You know, it's all good. But he said this is going to be outnumbered. And I don't think we ever really took into account the possibility of there being some sort of team of villains. And he says they're going to be outnumbered. So that means so far we've had four heroes. We have Ladybug, Cat Noir, Carapace, and Rena Rouge. So that's four right there. So that means if they're going to be outnumbered, it would have to be five, right? At least, bare minimum. And that, that's more villains than we currently have. Obviously, Hawkmoth can create different villains, but it's only one at a time, it seems like. Or, I guess, in the twins' case, two at a time. His powers are kind of not really explained, but it seems like he's pretty much limited. Otherwise, he would have just turned a bunch of people into villains at once. Unless... He has some superpower ability that he's actually able to do more than one person and turn them into a villain or unlock their darkness or something along those lines. Because Ladybug and Cat Noir all have kind of their like final moves. Cat Noir has the Cataclysm. After he uses that, it's kind of hard for him to really do anything else. Uh, Ladybug has the Lucky Charm, and you could ar argue that him turning butterflies into Akumas, that alone is sort of that power, potentially, but it's possibly as another power entirely and he's able to kind of use a super ultimate move or something along those lines but obviously a lot of us kind of think about if we think about a team of villains we know that the peacock miraculous holder is coming up eventually she is going to play a role she's going to be hawk moth's boss uh, hawk, hawk, hawk moth's boss hawk moth's boss boss <laughs> not boss the boss. So does he know that he's about to use the Peacock Miraculous, give it to someone? Does he give it to Natalie? Does he know about the chamber in, in, in the basement that connects to Emily Grest, who might end up using the Peacock Miraculous? He seems like he has some sort of plan to outnumber however many heroes are showing up. So assuming it's not just the general accumulation, it seems like the Peacock Miraculous and something to do with the power of the Peacock Miraculous may actually come into play and create a team a villain somehow. Maybe he can akumatize a couple different people and then the Peacock Miraculous can do something else to recruit others or duplicate others or something along those lines and then outnumber the actual heroes, which would be pretty crazy and that could, could potentially create a greater threat that they have to deal with. But this is something that we haven't really talked about before, a potential team of villains. It would be really cool to see other villains come through the woodworks that might exist other places that, in the world that Hawkmoth might team up with. I'd totally be down for that also. But what do you guys think about this? I just found this line really interesting. Do you think there's going to be a full-on team of villains? Or is this some other power that we're just not aware of yet that it's going to be revealed potentially by the end of the season or by the beginning of season three? Definitely let us know what you think because I'm very curious as to what he could have possibly meant by what he said there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified for more miraculous theories like this. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been Michael Williams. You can watch Cartoon Universe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.